Is this real life? I don't think so. Is this real life? It seems like for the first time we're getting a recording where as soon as we give an idea, the producer doesn't try to come up with their own way to do it. They just He just kind of says, okay, and then figures out the exact way that we wanted it to sound and I don't know this EP so far sounds literally exactly to the T how we heard it in our heads. So I was very nervous, extremely nervous. I mean it's still kind of makes me a little nervous whenever I'm just tracking on my own. It's just me and him. But I mean he's a chill dude kind of has the same sense of humor we have, jokes about things, gives people a hard time. Once I got used to that, like, got used to his sense of humor and realized that he's really just a normal ass dude, I realized that, I don't know, it's really not that nerve wracking anymore. It's actually been pretty relaxing recording with him, I guess. With this, the CD, there's not much of fake stuff on it. Drums are 100% real, no triggers on the drums. All the guitar parts we've played, you know, Kyle's actually singing stuff until it's completely right rather than normally when we're in the studio, we kind of just track the drums quickly because we know we're going to trigger the drums anyways and it doesn't really matter. And vocals, we kind of just get to sound where they sound close to how they should sound and then a producer goes through and melodines it or auto-corrects auto, auto it and stuff, but... This time around, we're just letting people hear kind of just us and what we sound like and what we can do with our instruments and just that. I definitely feel like we are still going to be classified in heavy music. It's definitely still heavy, but it's, I guess, creatively heavy.